This video shows the functionality of the new analyst method included in Predictor 2019. This is an anal analyst model created in a Predictor project. Once you have imported the data sets, you can show the contours by selecting the accumulation method. In this case, we will select the LDEN method. After selecting the LDEN method, you can click in the result tree on the branch, for instance road traffic in the day period, and you see the imported noise contours in the day period for road traffic. The same for air traffic, the same for industry, the same for wheel, and if you click on the day, then you see the accumulated value of road traffic, aviation, industry and rail traffic. The same for the night period, you can show it per type of source, road traffic, air traffic, industry, rail traffic and again the accumulated value in the night, the L night. If you click on the top level then you see the 24 hour, the L den value. An analyst model has point data sets, div areas, div lines, div points and focus areas. Point sets are the sets of results that you are importing in the model and I will show you later how that works. And a focus area, this is a focus area, is an area for clipping your noise contours. So if you enter a focus area in an analyst model, automatically all contours will be clipped outside this focus area. Now let's show another feature of the analyst method. New is an option also in the result menu Analyst analyze contours and here you can confront your contours with external shapefiles in order to count the number of exposed people or dwellings. The first, what's always done, is that predictor calculates the noise exposed area in square meters in 5 dB noise classes, depending on your selected noise classes here and for your contours. What you can do is you can select a shapefile, for instance a zip code point file, and this is a shapefile with points in it, and every point has a number of people and a number of dwellings attached to it. I open it, and then the next you can count the number of dwellings. I start, and here you see the number of dwellings exposed to noise in 5 dB noise classes. The same ge goes for the number of people. I click on start. And here you see the number of people exposed to noise in 5 dB noise classes. You can also show this shape file as a background map. Then it becomes more visible. I'm going to add the same shape file, the zip code point file, as a background map. And then you show it in a nice color, blue and also I want to put it between the contours, no, on top, otherwise you don't see the points. So, here you see all the zip code points. All these small blue dots are points, and when you use the analyze, uh, analyze contour options, predictor checks in which class this point is located and how many people are attached to such a zip code point. So this is a very nice way of calculating the number of exposed people or the number of exposed dwellings, all confronted with your noise contours.